Hi Sagittarius, how are you? If you're new, hi, welcome, my name is Michelle and this is your weekly reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will. Not everything is going to resonate with everybody. And keep in mind that the roles could be reversed between you and your person. And once again, these are all general readings, not personal. So keep that in mind that not everybody's going to have the same outcome, okay? And with that said, let's jump in into your reading, okay? So let's see what the universe has for you. So we have the Three of Swords. We got the Four of Pentacles. So this is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and we also have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo as well. We have the Five of Swords. Let me move this to the side real quick. Again, we see more air. Then we have the Seven of Swords in that reverse. We have the Four of Swords in that reverse. We got the Ten of Pentacles right here. This is Earth. Once again, Capricorn, <coughs> Taurus, Virgo, and overall energy. Let's see. We got the Two of Pentacles right here. Again, we see Earth and we see air very strongly in your reading. At the bottom, we got the Nine of Pentacles. So once again, very strong um, Earth, very strong, I'm sorry, very strong air. So it seems to be that there was a separation um, or a breakup in between you and a specific someone, of course, that was very important to you. This situation um, has been going on for a while, meaning that the separation happened a while ago or the situation of like getting over this specific situation, this specific breakup has been going on for a while. Um, some of you, not all of you, of course, some of you are having issues and having a hard time letting go having a hard time accepting it perhaps um this person uh cheated on you um most likely uh it seems to be that they left you or cheated on you with somebody that you knew or somebody that it was not a stranger for you <coughs> you actually some of you expected this person your, your person the, per the person that broke up with you to reach out to you eventually to uh, ask for forgiveness or perhaps to try to work things out with you but it seems to be that it did not happen well, the Seven of Swords and the Four of Swords in the reverse seems to be that you felt um, very upset, of course, and heartbroken. It's like you never saw that coming. You never saw that coming uh, from this person and you never thought you could get played. You're like, oh my God, I never thought this situation or, you know, this particular thing was going to happen to me. It was, again, very hard to accept because once again, you never thought that could happen to you. With the Ten of Pentacles, it seems to be that if you didn't know, a lot of people knew about the situation. A lot of people knew about your person sneaking behind your back or being with somebody else or talking to somebody else. A lot of people knew that behind your back. Uh, some friends and some others were family that knew about the situation. And once again, you did not expect that and you didn't know. Just, just you guys, just for you guys to know, unfortunately. With the two of pentacles right here, it seems to me that you're working on healing, working on, you know, balancing your life because, you know, right now situation, you know, who wants to be in this particular situation? But then Sagittarius right here, it seems to be that somebody that it's very connected to this person who broke your heart is coming in with an offer. Somebody that's like hesitant to come in, somebody that's like afraid in a way because like i said before it feels like they are scared of how you're gonna react because of what they did to you so that's what i'm assuming is somebody related to this uh breakup you know let's see what else i find let's see what can you tell me spirit please and thank you about this new offer coming in sagittarius life can you tell me who this person is can you tell me who this person is just to clarify for uh, sagittarius three of pentacles the judgment here so yes judgment i uh, see libra energy by the way the sun let's see thank you spirit eight of pentacles earth once again ten of wands in the reverse leo sagittarius and or aries we got the ace of pentacles Earth once again and overall energy, please and thank you. We have the nine of swords in the viewers, air, and then the page of cups, Pisces energy right here. So, yes, it seems to be that this person is the person who cheated or broke up with you. Um, this person um 
I want to be honest with you. It seems to be that this person left to you at that moment for somebody younger or somebody that they found more attractive uh, at that time. And it seems to be that the same thing happened to them. Whoever they left you for, left them, left them for somebody that they found more attractive. And that's when life tells you, never leave somebody that likes, that loves you for somebody who likes you because the person who likes you will leave you for the person they love. So that is what happened to them, you know? And that's why we got the judgment card. The judgment card was karma, was what they had to go through. It was pretty much their payback and that's pretty much what happened. The person that they wanted, the person that they saw so so much potential, the person that they left you for, once again, the person that they, oh, okay, I got my brand new beginning. Did them dirty. Look at this. This person cheated on your ex or in your and the person that broke up with you. Sorry, I'm just fixing this part of the wig. It's like annoying. Uh, the person that they left you for uh, cheated on them while they were working. So whenever your person or ex person was working, the new partner cheated on them. And that is when it happened. Like they were working and they got cheated on. Oh, boy. We got the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords in the Beavers. So now they don't have anything else. They don't have anybody else. Now they're like, oh my gosh, what do I do? That's why you come in to plan. They are planning on coming into your life to offer you even marriage for all of you. If you guys were engaged with this person or were together before this breakup happened and you guys never like pretty much got married or actually got engaged, let's say, you know, uh, this person's coming in with that big promise, like, oh my goodness, like, oh, now I'm gonna marry, now I'm gonna marry you, la da 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 da. But it seems to be that they, their intentions, their actions are not trustworthy, and of course, um, it seems to be that also besides the point, you're gonna be in between two new love, two love offers, the new one, which is the page, and the old one, which is the king right here. But it seems to be that. You don't have to struggle that much with the Six of Pentacles, I'm sorry, with the Six of Wands in the reverse. Because it seems to be that you are not very happy, of course you wouldn't, to know about the past person. I feel like you are going to go with the new love offer, the Ace um, of Wands, again, your energy. Because you know the past and you tried it and you see and you saw that it was not working. So that's why you're not actually trying or interested in going back. Because you're like, you know what, I'm going to go back not going to go back. I'm going to go. Sorry, guys. I'm going to move forward with the new. And that's what I see that you're going to do, which for me is the right choice, to be honest. What is the intentions, the true intentions of the past person? Thank you, spirit. The high priestess, Pisces energy here. We have the five of wands, your energy, Leo in or Aries, we have the King of Pentacles. I see Taurus very strongly. The King of Wands in the reverse. The Page of Wands. The Nine of Swords in the reverse. Air, once again, an overall energy, overall. Thank you, the Five of Cups right here. So look at this. This is the overall five of cups, okay? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So now they're heartbroken. Now they're lonely. Now the person that they wanted, they want them back. And now they're just wandering in life, lamenting their decisions and going like, oh boy, I wish I'd done things differently, you know? But look at this. What they want is to get you back. But this is when things get interesting. They don't want you back because they love you, love you. They want you back because they think you are like, well, I'm going to be as honest as I can and I don't want to, I don't want you to feel bad, but this is how they view you. Okay. They view you as the person that's coming back from the past as a consolation, uh, trophy. Okay. Hold on. I had to open the window. It was very hot. So they see you as a consolation trophy, which is... Any, it's very far from what you are, 100%. Like, they see you as a constellation trophy because, you know, now they're lonely, now they don't have the person, they got rejected, da da da, da and they go like, oh, they're Sagittarius, let me just get them. They have a lot of pride, and they have a lot of, like, I don't know, they're, like, a lot of ego in them, and they think they are the, the, 
the the big thing they think they are the big shot they're like mm, i want to come back to sagittarius life and they are not going to hesitate to take me back but you know what they're gonna face a different you you are not what this person is not welcoming your life anymore most of you are done with that most of you are you're like okay babe like thank you next like get the heck out of my life because you guys are still are so busy with the new you guys are busy with the new when this person comes in into your life when this person wants to come in into your life and you're not even worried you're not even stressed about this past person you're not even like oh what should i do you know what you want to do and what you want to do is to not take them back because they did you wrong and you're done with that you're not willing and you're not wanting to go through that ever again so they want you back, like I said before, as a consolation trophy because they got rejected. So, what can you tell me now about the new person coming in Sagittarius' life? What can you tell me about them? Please and thank you. We have the Emperor, Aries Energy. We got the Nine of Cups. Okay, okay. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We got the Two of Cups. I see a Leo, but I also see a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well. Huh. We uh, got the Empress in reverse, a Libra. Thank you, Spirit. We got the Ten of Pentacles. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. One more, please. The Ace of Pentacles. Again, Earth and overall energy. Thank you so much. The Sun, Leo energy here. And the Ace of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. So this person is coming in into your life. It could be either or an Aries or it could be any water sign. Is it Aries, Leo, or it any water sign? It seems like it. They're coming in in a time of your life when you are, in a way, fed up with love, fed up with heartbreaks, fed up with kind of like everything because you are grieving that heartbreak. You are grieving that separation. You are grieving that betrayal, right? You are grieving that, and that's totally understandable. And this person comes into your life. They look good. It feels good. Like, the connection feels good. What well, they're saying feels good. Their interest feels good. But you are still hesitant. You're like, hmm, should I or should I not take them back? Because, once again, you are fed up with, you know, heartbreaks. You're fed up with things happening the way it happened. Like I said before, you are very, very guarded up because, understandable, you don't want to go through what this past person did, you know? And, but... The two of cups. This person is seems to be like a soulmate, a perfect match. They don't have interest to play you. They don't have interest to take anything from you, but they want to just take your heart. Not literally, just emotionally. <laughs> With the Empress and the Ten of Pentacles right here. They don't have multiple empresses. What I mean by that is like they don't have multiple people. They're not unfaithful people. They're not the kind of person who's going to offer you the stars, the stars and the moon. And they're going to just betray you like the past person. This is a total different person. If you're wondering, oh, is this person taken? They don't have an empress, regardless of gender, right? They don't have an empress, which is a wife or a husband. They don't have that. Or a boyfriend and or a girlfriend, you know? Uh, they don't have that. So they're single, single. Just so you to know. But with the Ten of Pentacles right here, it seems to be that this person is very, very handsome or very, very hot, very attractive. And a lot of people are very interested in them. And it seems to be whenever you guys get together and, like, go out, somebody in your family or, fa or friend is going to uh, see you with them. And there's going to be some sort of drama, like, people talking about you. Like, oh, my goodness, like, look at this person going out with this specific person. And this person that's coming in, it could be somebody that you already know. This could be a friend... Uh, uh, a friend from a group friend this could be somebody that you grow up with this is somebody that could be a neighbor this is somebody that it seems to be familiar their energies are familiar if it's none of that it could be a past life connection you know a past life person that shows up in your life once again but once again somebody's going to see you with this and they're going to act with this person and there's going to be some sort of drama just be careful and be ready for that you know people like to talk people like to getting people's businesses so that's what i see when it comes to going out with this person this person is going to offer you a very strong and very possible positive potentially good relationship that is very strongly it seems very firm and it seems to be very positive and healthy and on the bottom of the deck with the 
sun in reverse it's gonna bring the joy it's gonna bring that happiness and that excitement that one you once have and also that shine that you that your soul used to have that little by little was taken away by your ex is coming back to life meaning that you're gonna be your true self your funny self your spontaneous self you're gonna be free to be and love the person that you were meant to and be free that's what i heard you're meant to be free there's no need for everybody to applaud it for it seems like and you don't need to it seems to be that you don't care about people's approval you just want to be happy and that's what you're going to be you're going to be happy with this future person what are the final advice from the cards to sagittarius what are the final advice for for sagittarius from the cards let's see let's see what is the final advice for you guys Let's see what is the card uh, final advice for you. We got the world. We got Aquarius energy, Scorpio energy, Taurus energy, and Leo energy. Ten of swords in the reverse. Libra energy. The queen of wands in the reverse. Your energy. And Aries. And then we have the hermit, Virgo energy, the moon, Pisces, the wheel of fortune right here. Again, we have Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. And overall, we got the Eight of Wands and the Six of Swords. So they want you, of course, <coughs> to walk away from the past if you were considering to take them back. Of course, not, of, not all of you are going to be like, yeah, yeah. But whoever was considering, they're telling you to not do it because it's not worth it. This person does not deserve you and you do not deserve this kind of treatment. They don't want you to go back to the past. The past is not good. The past is going to use you and most definitely they're going to do you dirty like they did you in the past. Now. With the world and the ten of swords, they want you to not hold back, to not hold back when it comes to love or new things or new people just because the past, you know, promised you something and it did not fulfill it, right? Unfortunately, that happens in life and the spirit does not want you to hold back or to not enjoy life or enjoy the new possibilities of meeting and being with new people just because of the past. With the queen of wands right here, they don't want you to hold back anymore. They don't want you to be shy. They don't want you to be afraid of speaking up also. With Hermit right here and the moon, they don't want you to hide behind the screen. That's what I heard. They don't want you to hide behind the screen. Like, let's say that you live a different life online and then you live a different life in real life. Like the Hannah Montana kind of thing. <laughs> they don't want you to do that. They want you to be who you are online and outside you know like if you are hiding something for any way shape or form they want you to put it out there because it's it's safe for you to love it's safe for you to be who you really are and the moon right here it says like lies will bring more lies and this could be related to your ex this could be related to anything because at the end of the day it's an advice for you from spirit so whatever it is that's going on lies they're always going to be uh find out people are going to always find out the lies you're going to always find out the lies and the truth will come out and they want you to stop hiding and to be out there and be the person that you really are because there's people out there who are going to actually open their arms to you and love you in every way shape or form for who you really are the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, they're telling you that you don't have to do this kind of change or this kind of like putting yourself out there overnight. They do understand that you need time and that you need to feel comfortable and they understand that and they don't want you to do what you don't want to do. But remember to always move forward with the eight of wands. It's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to open your wings and fly, pretty much to let go and pretty much live your life the way that you deserve. But the only way you can do that is to stop looking back and stop talking to people who are not worth of your time that's what i also heard and before i go i'm gonna give you a card this is from i forgot what's the deck here but this is a very funny and very spa uh, sassy deck this is a love a love oracle this is with celebrities by the way we have a bunch of celebrities here in this deck i think it's very funny whoever did it but let's see a spicy a spicy message for you in love Okay, so at the bottom, we got Courtney Love, Courtney Love, and he says, if rock stars are like leaders of a religious cult, be the on Virgin Mary, be more than a human, be a force of nature, be ambitious, it doesn't matter if you don't know where you're going. <laughs> then we got Billy, Billy Holiday here, and he says, a kiss never tasted, tasted is like a fine wine wasted. 
You'll never know when to stop until you have too much. You can find friends in the darkest places. Blanca del Rio. It says, an unicorn is a horse with an extra potential. True love is clearly illegal in most states. In most states, everyone needs that special someone who can stroke your hair while you cough with your head in the toilet. <laughs> and then we have Serge Gansborg, I think it's called. This is the name I'm going to cover because she was wearing a thong there. I don't want to be. <laughs> so anyways, it says, beauty is the promise of happiness and a guarantee of despair. When I leave, you shall have no kisses left. To love, you must ignore the differences between pleasure and pain. And that is the spicy message for you today. Thank you so much <coughs> Excuse me for your time. Please like and subscribe. You are worthy of love. You're amazing. Again, please like, like and subscribe and I'll be back this week with more readings. Again, thank you so much for the love and support and you guys have a blessed night. Bye.